Hello everyone. This is our 10th exercise. The aim of our exercise is to use the given data set in order to build a SOI model that is the self-organized mapping. Self-organized mapping is actually an artificial neural network that is training using unsupervised learning that produces a map. So here I have used the data set SONA data set and um, we can see the data set over here. We have row number, class that consists of rock and mine and we have almost 60 attributes present here. 60 attributes. So moving on I use the operator SOM that is self-organizing map. I drag and drop it. I connect these things. SOM operator is also otherwise known as coin and map and uh, it helps us to get a low dimensional view from a high dimensional data. So after doing the native connections, let us run it. Yes. So previously we saw the, that the original data set, there is a sonar data set, it had 60 attributes, attribute 1, 2, 3, up to attribute 60. But after we applied this SOM operator to the data set, what we have is we create artificial attributes that is SOM0 and SOM1. These are not the actual attributes but the attributes that are generated by the SOM operator. So in this way we can generate the SOM model and uh, this is the statistics of it. So uh, this was our experiment and uh, the SOM model it contains two mods actually training mode and mapping. Training it is actually building the map and uh, in the mapping section it actually creates the vector. It contains components which are known as nodes or neurons and each node is associated with a weight weight vector which is the average of the input data. So this was our experiment so what we did is we retrieved the SONA data set which actually contained 60 attributes in it and we use the SOM operator which is also known as Coinin map and uh, we do, did the needed connections after we run it we get the result as two attributes artificially developed attributes by using the SOM operator and why this two exactly two operator is displayed is because the parameter here on the right hand side number of dimensions we have given it as two so for that reason we got two artificial attributes generated if we change this number and give four six the attribute number will increase and we will get the output as four attributes and here net size it determines the net size net SOM model size and these are the training rounds parameter which helps us to determine the number of training rounds and uh, similarly by adjusting these outputs these uh, parameters we can change the outputs so this was our experiment, the 10th experiment to develop our SOM model. We have done it successfully. So I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you.